We're standing by the River Severn in Shropshire, in front of the Iron Bridge. Cast in 1778 and erected the following year, 1779, and opened the 1st of January 1781. The importance of this bridge is it's the first one to use cast iron structurally. And from this bridge, all our other iron and steel bridges grow. This is the daddy. When it first opened, nobody really trusted this new material until there was a really serious flood. 12th of February, 1795, destroyed the upstream medieval bridge, did nothing to this one at all. This one survived intact, but lots of other bridges in the area were badly damaged and many of them destroyed as well. Cast iron stood, and from that point onwards, the confidence in this material grew, and that's when we start getting more bridges and iron. Thomas Telford came, looked at the bridge, and he goes on to build many other fantastic bridges in iron. Uh, some of them are very big span. But he doesn't follow the constructional techniques of this one. This actually, in hindsight, was a cul-de-sac. The understanding of materials and, and really pushing the boundaries, that's what makes it. And this bridge is that step in the direction that moves the boundary about cast iron. And from this, such is the confidence in it, we start to get new uses for it. Around the same time, we get the first ever iron-framed building, the beginnings of the uh, fireproof buildings, ultimately leading to skyscrapers. The idea of civil engineering hadn't been formalized, but we know of eminent engineers who have been involved with the bridge over its life many of whom are, have been important members of the Institution of Civil Engineers. No less important than Thomas Telford, who was here very early on to advise on the bridge in the 17, 1795, 1796, the first president of the institution. When the bridge was built, it went from nowhere to nowhere. There was no town here. There was a community on the top, there was ironworks up the side valleys, there was industry but not a town. And the bridge very rapidly created a location, a place. The Tontine Hotel on the far end was built by the trustees of the Iron Bridge as a destination. The coach companies diverted their routes across the bridge, changed horses here, it became a place and it grew. So Ironbridge is one of the, of the products, that is Ironbridge, the town, of the bridge that it's named after. We now take it for granted that iron and steel is a standard building material. And this is a World Heritage Site. This is recognised as one of the most important symbols of industrialisation and the the symbol of the Industrial Revolution.